Yo, what is good, YouTube, and welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about today's packs as well as the challenges that dropped today for NBA All Star History content here in NBA 2K25. My team to get a free 10 pack unsellable box. This is the main part of this video is how to get this box. We're also going to talk about the packs, though. The pack odds, I haven't looked at them yet, but I'm assuming they're not going to be very good. So we're going to talk about whether or not you should open up these packs. Spoiler alert, no. And also how to get this 10 pack box for free, which is something that I will be grinding myself and opening in a video here in a little bit later on today so before we hop into the video if you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button help me push towards the 30,000 subscriber mark on the channel i upload every single day tons of consistent daily my team content would really appreciate it if i do subscribe and without further ado before we hop into these box the box or how to get the box i should say Let's look at the pack market. So we got regular unsell or re regular all-star history packs as well as base all-star history packs same setup as last week are the odds the same as last week Looks like they basically are. Was it 1.5% last week? I think it was. So it looks like the odds are the exact same odds um, as last week, which means they're very, very bad. No box toppers, nothing like that. 1.5% odds at a diamond. That is atrocious. That means on average, you probably have to open 50, 60, 70, 80 packs to, to get one diamond. That's insanely bad like really 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 bad that also means that in all likelihood your 10 pack box will probably not contain anything really good but with that being said it will guarantee you a certain amount of MT just from the other stuff you pull and there is always the potential of pulling some other good stuff so the 10 pack box itself is good grindable content everything else from today though is not even worth touching nothing here in this auction or in this pack market is worth opening whatsoever or spending any sort of money or MT or whatever on just it's not going to reward you with any sort of value so would definitely stay away from from all of these packs there is no real value that i see in opening any of these on the other hand the grindable content is where today's content is really at uh and that was this 10 pack box like we were saying so we're going to talk about how to get this 10 pack box real quickly it's going to be i would assume relatively pretty simple uh i'm not sure oh i guess marcus johnson uh ruby stefan marbury and ruby dick barnett are available for free as well as part of this you can get a free ruby gems of the game stefan marbury who's actually not bad uh especially he's like a salary cap point guard but the first challenge is to score 20 points in the game with a small forward for three times you you can just do that in a triple threat game very very quick and easy that should be no challenge get 250 points assists and rebounds with suns players over multiple games that is not as easy of a challenge that is a more time consuming challenge than anything else not that that type of stat accumulation is very hard as much as it is just time consuming so 250 points assists and rebounds with suns players over multiple games is definitely going to take a little bit of time hopefully that is the longest and most uh time consuming annoying of all of these challenges uh 200 well, they're doing it with Knicks players too are you kidding me bro they made this way harder they made this way more time consuming 250 points to assist and rebounds with nick players over multiple games as well that's obnoxious i guess it is technically for a ruby player but still i'm not gonna sit here and say that's great content because i don't think it is get 25 rebounds in a game i mean that's just going to require doing that in a domination game realistically and uh it doesn't say with one player or anything so in, in one domination game your opponent should miss a lot just just play at a fast pace get them to shoot a lot of shots you should get 25 rebounds relatively easily i would think score 35 points on the player in a game you can do that in the same game as you get these 25 rebounds that is probably going to be the fastest way to do that as well you can basically stack those two challenges together and get that one done quite easily make 100 three-pointers over multiple games um work on that during the domination game and work on that while you're doing these 20 points assists and rebounds with suns players because uh that is going to be uh another time consuming challenge but one that you should be able to complete while you're completing these other challenges so it shouldn't really add any time to the grind 100 dunks over multiple games kind of the same thing three pointers and dunks are basically going to be your go-to unfortunately this is a much more time consuming 10 box than last week's 10 box was this is going to take two three hours i would think to grind this out unfortunately which is not ideal for the sake of content uh or at least for the sake of accessibility i should say but at least it does have a solid reward or what can be a solid reward and then make 25 four pointers over multiple clutch time games Yo, they are not rocking with us four pointers count as three pointers so it will contribute towards this make 100 three pointers as well i do believe but at the same time this is not easy simple grinding i mean this is going to take a lot longer than i was honestly expecting it would and um this is i mean i would still recommend probably doing this especially if you're a no money spent player but it is not as rewarding as it was last week and it's not as easy as it was last week so i gotta say uh this is not what i'm 
2K just does not really like their community very much anymore. I think that's the honest conclusion. It's what I was talking about on Friday, and it's what's it's what's being shown to be true today. At least the reward itself has the potential to be good, but with 1.5% pack odds, it's not that good. You know what I mean? And it's just not very accessible. I mean, it's accessible enough, but it's going to take two, three, four hours probably to grind this out. And although I will say a lot of these statistics are stackable. For example, the 25 four-pointers uh, will contribute to the 100 three-pointers. The 100 dunks as well are going to be done. You can do the 35 points, 25 rebounds in the same game. Score 20 points in a game with a small forward three times. Basically, honestly, my recommendation is that this is going to be easiest to just do in domination. As boring as that is, this is going to be the easiest place to do it is just in like rookie domination and the current domination. And basically, do like an auto-fill lineup and basically just do an autofill lineup with Suns players and an autofill lineup with Knicks players and just use a full Suns starting five, Knicks starting five, so that every point, every rebound, every assist that you get is with a Suns player. That's what I would recommend. Same thing with Knicks. Like, that's basically what I would recommend. Apparently, I only have five Knicks players right now. But see, I have a full starting lineup of Knicks players. So there you go. I can definitely do that. And that, as long as I just run that lineup, oh, I actually can build my bench as well with Knicks players. I have more than that. But uh, basically, would recommend just auto filling a lineup with the players from the team that you need and um using the players that you want to um build to, 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 to sorry from the team that you want to complete these challenges as quickly as possible it really won't let me auto fill the bench that's that's actually really annoying but i think this is fine if that's how we're going to do it uh, and it won't take that long if you do like, like this just go play domination with a lineup like this build the best lineup you can and every point every amount every assist you get it's all going to contribute towards the same challenge goal same thing with the suns and i think all the other challenges will be able to be completed um while you're stacking those Knicks and suns agendas pretty much so you're gonna have to play domination for all of the challenges in my opinion at least the quickest way to do it besides the uh four pointers i would probably just do the four pointers first and again Use Knicks for Suns players while you're doing it, pretty much, so that it contributes to those stat boosts. And I think that's really about it. Like, I don't think as a whole this is going to be super duper hard. It's just going to be time consuming. This is something that's going to take two or three hours. But, I mean, me personally, I think I'm going to sit down and grind it out. And uh, I would recommend that y'all do as well if you have the time and if you're trying to get rewarded. Because, uh, unfortunately, 2K is just not doing a very good job with rewards this year, man. And I think it's pushing a lot, a lot of nobody spent players away to a certain extent. They could certainly be doing a better job than they are in anyway um and that's a bit frustrating but i don't know this is what we got so it is what it is if you want to grind free content this is the content to grind from today's drop and the content that we're going to get basically for the week i think unfortunately um we'll see if we get more grindable content later this week fingers crossed with that being said that is going to do it for this video i hope y'all did enjoy if you did make sure you hit that like button leave a comment and subscribe i'll be back with more 2k content very very soon and i appreciate y'all peace